Yeah, this uh, flight was all about proving that it is possible to fly on Mars. Uh, so to that end, uh, what we had instructed Ingenuity to do was to climb uh, to altitude of three meters, hover there for a little bit, about five seconds, then make a turn of about 96 degrees, hover for another 20 seconds, and then go to land again in the same place that it took off from. And we told, that's what we told Ingenuity to do, and it did exactly that, and it did it just perfectly. Uh, from everything we've seen so far, uh, it was a flawless flight. Uh, it was a gentle takeoff. Uh, at altitude, it gets pushed around a little bit by the winds, but, uh, but it really just maintained station uh, very well, and it stopped the landing uh, right in the place where it was supposed to go. Um, when we were looking at the downlink data this morning, one of the first things, or the, one of the most important things that we were looking for was uh, this plot that you can see, which is a plot of the altimeter. Um, that was really our first indication, or real proof, I should say, that, yeah, we really did leave the ground. Uh, uh, we really did fly. Uh, in addition to this kind of telemetry, during the flight itself, Ingenuity was telling us all along what it was doing. And so what we were able to do with that data is we could take that data and, and reconstruct the flight and create an animation out of it. So, so what we're gonna see here is such a reconstruction. Uh, where we've taken that engineering data and, and animated the flight accordingly. And what that allows us to do is it allows us to look at the flight in a different way uh, for example, from different angles up close and see kind of the small motions of the vehicle. Uh, and what you will see here is that it's just really, you know, really steady. Um, just a, a beautiful flight. This is the initial hover and then a turn. And then uh, hover again for 20 more seconds. And then the landing. And just the tiniest little bounce that you can see there on the landing. Uh, and that is also completely expected. I think we are, uh, have uh, a video as well from the rover that we looked at before that we're going to see again. And this again, you know, shows us the same thing, this time with real images uh, from the vantage point of the rover. And it shows you when you get up to altitude here uh, a little bit more clearly how, how it gets buffered a little bit by the wind and how it very uh, gently makes its way back and, and lands safely where it needs to be. And what's exciting about this is this is a flight that we've done hundreds, if not you know, a thousand times before, but always in simulation. It's always been on a computer. And to see it now finally happen on Mars and happen exactly the way that we imagine it is just a really incredible uh, feeling. Now, while it was flying, um, it ha while it's flying, it has to keep track of where it is. And the way that it does that in part is by taking images of the ground below it, 30 images per second and analyzing those in order to understand how it's moving. Now those are, those Images are primarily there exactly for that purpose, not necessarily there to be looked at, you know, um, but it turns out, you know, we grabbed a few of those images uh, and downlinked them to Earth this morning, and it turns out they're, they're absolutely stunning uh, in what they show. What we see here is Ingenuity taking a picture of its own shadow right below it and I think this is just a stunning uh, image, notwithstanding the fact that it's, you know, a low-resolution uh, 
black and white uh, photograph. We have another uh, image from the same camera, which shows just a moment right before touchdown. You can see the legs are just about to meet the ground here. And this is a very interesting image to me, in part because of uh, what it doesn't show, which is it doesn't show a lot of obscuration from dust, which is one of the things that we weren't so sure about prior to, uh, prior to doing this experiment. So already we're learning things here. Uh, uh, and in particular here, dust is, did not seem to be an issue in terms of obscuring the navigation camera close to the ground. In the next few days, uh, we expect uh, to perform further flights, and we also expect to get color images down from the helicopter. <laughs>